It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. First and foremost, I would like to wish all my subscribers a Happy New Year. By the way guys, every time it's December 31st, it's always my birthday. By the way, I am not joking either. I was born on December 31st, and to me at least, that is the best birthday ever. The main reason why my birthday on December 31st is the best birthday ever is because basically people get high, they get drunk, and do the craziest shit possible. So thank you everybody for celebrating my birthday every single time it's New Year's Eve. I feel very, 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 very egotistical right now. More recently in Germany, they decided that Surya child marriage is actually protected underneath the law. According to an article, they basically said that banning child marriages is actually unconstitutional and that the Muslim families have a right to marry off their daughter to a grown ass man. Now before I commentate on that fucked up story, I first want to say that Germany is a really backwards ass society. What they do in Germany in terms of freedom is just basically shove it up their ass without any kind of form of lubricant. For example, they don't really appreciate the concept of free speech. More recently, an old lady was sent to jail in Germany for the sole crime of denying the Holocaust. Now imagine yourself going to jail and having small talk with the inmates. The conversation will pretty much be like this. Oh, hi, sunny boy. I'm a grandma. What did you go to jail for? I went to jail because I slaughtered somebody, I raped their corpses, and ate their eyeballs. What about you? What did you go to jail for? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I just denied the Holocaust. Look, I do not agree with the idea of Holocaust denial. However, sending people to jail simply because they denied the Holocaust is just really wrong. Besides banning Holocaust denial, Germany also bans the symbolism of Nazis. For example, every single Wolfenstein game that comes out in Germany is always censored because of Nazi symbolism in Hitler. Don't believe me? Well, look at this clip. Diese Männer wollen für die Rolle von William Josef Blaskowitz vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Heidelinde, kommen Sie. Sind Sie das? Fremde in meinem Büro. Würden Sie mir bitte verraten, wer in Gottes Namen die sind? Ja, ja, es sind Schauspieler, mein Kanzler. Schauspieler? Ja, diese Männer wollen für die Rolle von William Josef Blaskovich vorsprechen. So basically, German players have to import the American version of Wolfenstein to play the uncut version of Wolfenstein. Also, don't you ever, ever, ever talk about shit of migrants in Germany. If you ever talk shit about migrants in Germany, just be sure to wait for the police to raid your house. I think I made my point about how fucked up Germany is. However, let's continue to read the article about them defending child marriages underneath Syria law. Germany, new law banning child marriage declared unconstitutional. The Federal Court of Justice, Germany's highest court of civil and criminal jurisdiction, has ruled that a new law that bans child marriage may be unconstitutional because all marriages, including Sharia-based child marriages, are protected by Germany's basic law. That is just so backwards, just I don't know where to begin with this. This idea that kids can actually consent to something like marriage 
is a very backwards ass idea. Maybe it's me, but there are some cultures that are absolutely superior to other cultures. To me at least, American culture, or Western culture in particular, is far superior to Islamic culture. Islamic culture does not respect women's rights. It does not respect gay rights. It does not respect men's rights. Any kind of rights you can think of, Islamic culture does not respect at all. What I personally do not understand is why our people in the West are bending over backwards for Islam. That to me makes no sense. Why should we respect their ideas on child marriages? We should not have any sort of law that favors this at all. But hey, what do I know? I'm just some random loser on the internet. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.